Hi, it's Mike from Esri Canada. I'd like to show you how to deploy the coronavirus response using the ArcGIS Solutions deployment tool. The coronavirus response is a group of maps, apps, and layers that public health agencies or municipalities can use to understand the impact of COVID-19 and share their authoritative information with their community. So to work with the coronavirus response from the ArcGIS Solutions for Local Government team, you'll need to have at least ArcGIS Pro 2.3 basic standard or advanced and have access to ArcGIS online and you'll need to be at least a creator user type in order to work with this. So with the coronavirus response you get many applications that you can use to help share information and understand the coronavirus in your community. Things like different dashboards for coronavirus cases, community impacts, public place managers and so on. With all of these applications come different maps and layers that are used to support the underlying solution. You may choose to use some of these or all of these, but all of them will get deployed into your organization when you use the tool. So to get the tool, you'll go to the ArcGIS Solutions Deployment Tool Download, and this will download an add-in for ArcGIS Pro. So I'll download the add-in from the site. We can see it's a fairly small file and this will go into my downloads folder where I can then extract it. So this will contain a single add-in. Now I have ArcGIS Pro open, just a blank ArcGIS Pro and under the share window I already have the ArcGIS Solutions tool installed from the add-in. Now, a colleague gave me a good tip. If you had installed it perhaps previously, a little while ago, haven't worked with it lately, it's a good idea to just remove it. And then you can be sure that you've got the most uh, current version of the add-in with the different solutions that would be available to you. So it's been deleted. I do need to take ArcGIS Pro and uh, close it and then open it up again. So I'll install the add-in now, just with a simple click on it. I have the ability to install the add-in. And then I can relaunch ArcGIS Pro. So this will ensure that I have the latest add-in with the latest solutions from the ArcGIS Solutions team. So we can once again work with a, a blank template. I won't actually be doing anything in Pro other than deploying the solution. So I can get right into the um, share tool. That's where the ArcGIS Solutions deployment tool is. And I will launch this. So there's a series of steps here that are outlined in a task. The first step would be to sign into an ArcGIS organization, which I've done. We can see that here with my identity. Then I'm gonna deploy an ArcGIS solution. So it's not just the coronavirus uh, tools that are available through this solution. There's many other ones, but for today, I'm going to be getting the coronavirus response template, so I can just search on that or I could browse the different folders, and I'll find the coronavirus response. There's three of them under three different areas. They all um, are the same response template. I'm going to store it in a specific folder, and then I'm going to deploy this to my organization. So this will create all of those applications, all of those maps, and all of those feature layers in my organization under this COVID-19 folder that I previously created. This will take a couple minutes to do since there are several apps, maps, and layers. So we'll come back to this when it's done. So we can now see that with the check marks here that the solution has been deployed and I can finish this step in the task. There's a couple other steps here that will allow you to do some further configurations to the solution. In this case here, in the configure an ArcGIS solution, I may want to add specific fields to some of the layers based on other information that might not be in the template. So I could do that here in putting the table. I would browse to my ArcGIS online, add that layer in, make add some fields, maybe modify some domains. I actually like to do this after I've deployed the solution in a combination of using ArcGIS Online and ArcGIS Pro. So I'm going to skip that step here. I also have the ability to load my own data into it. 
So if I have data that already exists for some things like schools, public facilities, case information, I could um, copy and paste that information into those feature layers, or I could use the append tool right here in the task to accomplish that by picking the input data set, the target feature that was created, and then map the fields to it. Much like the other step, this is something I prefer to do after I've deployed the solution and I start looking at the web layers, those feature layers, the maps and the applications, and then modifying them through a combination of working in ArcGIS Online and ArcGIS Pro. So I'm finished in Pro. I don't have anything further to do here, but what I'd like to do is go to my ArcGIS Online organization, I've got that same identity, and I can start to explore the content. So I had that COVID-19 folder, and in it now I see that I have many different applications available to me here. So if I start looking at what's been created, uh, you can see I've got three pages, so more than 40 apps, maps, and layers. But I can start browsing through it and seeing that I have um, information here, just a getting starting for, uh, tool. I've got different dashboards about community impact. Some are mobile, some are meant for um, desktops versus mobile devices since the responsiveness will be um, a little more tailored based on each application I am, that you're going to be working with. One app that I like to look at here is this coronavirus response and this is one that is basically just a, a gallery app that allows us to see the different components that we might want to work with here. So this is a good way to start exploring the maps and apps and start to seeing what they are. So you might want to see the coronavirus case dashboard and see what this framework is for what that you can start to apply the data to. So nothing to fill in here yet. This is where your information will start to get populated when you work with the solution. Or you may want to look at the public place uh, manager here. This will allow you to manage and indicate what's opened or closed for different government facilities, medical facilities, public places, and school districts. So all of these applications that we have here have maps that work with them as well. So we can even start to see here if we want to look at some of the layers that we have. We have um, views for the public and then we have the uh, layers themselves that you would work with and edit. We can see what we have in this uh, in this case here. We'll take a look at one of those layers here. Public places, for instance, it has information about government facilities and landmark facilities. So when we take a look at the data, you get an understanding of the fields that are in here for the government facilities. These would be all the information that's collected. So some of these fields you may not need. Um, I suggest you keep them in there for the time being, but you may have other fields that you want to add in that your data specifically has, and that's where you can start working in Pro or um, ArcGIS Online to append data to it or copy and paste data into it from Pro as well. Uh, when you start to look at these fields, you can see some of them have lists of value domains. So you may want to add edit these. They're US-centric, but you can see you can go through and change these values to other ones that you might be um, might be working with that would be important for your data and how you're going to work with it um, in the solution. So take a look at the content that is created. Some of these applications you may choose to work with, some of them you may not, but they're all available to you. And then you can start to see how you can move your data into it. So you really get an idea now of what's involved with deploying the uh, coronavirus response into your organization. In the next video, we'll show you how you can start to wire up some of your existing data into the apps, like I sort of alluded to here, that you've deployed. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you.